myself dr devatosh ghosh presenting my uh, case is a rare case of orbital myosis myosis is the infestation of the living vertebrate animal tissues by larva less than 5% of the human myosis cases involve the eye involvement of the ocular structures by the larva of the dipterus fly is known as the ophthalmomyosis it is can it can be of three types orbital myosis ophthalmomyosis externa and ophthalmomyosis interna the parasites commonly affecting the eye and the orbit are the hypoderma bovis istras ovis chrysomia bisiana suchitra mishra a 52 year old female <coughs> was admitted in our midnapur medical college noticed uh, brownish black pigmented wound around the medial canthus of her left eye 7 years ago following which the wound gradually increased in size and developed ulceration and since last 5 days she complained of the bleeding from the wound along with foul smelling discharge and the worms coming out of the wound there is no history of diabetes hypertension or tuberculosis no history of trauma previous surgery or any immunocompromised state on examination generalized left periorbital edema with matting of eyelashes and severe conjunctival congestion was found and ulcerative lesion of the 4 into 3 cm approx was noted around the middle canthus of left eye and uh, the ulcer had the indurated margins with blood stain foul smelling discharge and uh, few maggots were visible in the wound no intraocular involvement were there but other way was normal and on uh, investigation we have done the ct scan where we uh, shows that uh, the ct scan shows the soft tissue swelling of the left orbit with extension to the left temporofrontal area ipsilateral nasal cavity and ethmoid sinus with blockage of the nld ostomedial unit and it has also involved the left frontal process of the maxilla now on intervention after installation of the ether into the wound near about 32 maggots were removed with forceps and preserved in the 10% formalin regular dressing was done IV antibiotics amoxicillin metronidazole and analgesics were given for one week ivermectin 12 mg single dose has been given and 1 percent ivermectin drop prepared by dissolving the tablet in distilled water instilled four times a day for a week on entomological evaluation we have found the species to be chrysomia bisiana and uh, we have sent the histopathological examination which was suggested of the basal cell carcinoma and my diagnosis was the orbital myosis involving the left orbit in case of a basal cell carcinoma there are few literature review like uh, huang wyel et al in this study they have found the orbital myosis where the organism found to be lucilia sericata and the cause was uh, trauma risk factor was trauma and nene es et al uh, in this case also they have uh, they have found the ocular myosis uh, in case of the traumatic lesion where the organism was found to be chrysomia bisiana and two unusual cases of the ophthalmosis uh, was reported by the bishash pn et al so here one case was of fungating mass and one case of of trauma and uh, in both cases the organism was uh, chrysomia bisiana for follow up uh, we have uh, referred the patient to the heart center for further management of the basal cell carcinoma and uh, chronic debilitating conditions such as leprosy diabetes mellitus open nodes fungating carcinoma psychiatric illness immune suppressive agents may predispose individuals to myosis so early diagnosis and treatment is essential to decrease the disease morbidity and severe vision loss thank you very nice presentation uh, uh, dr ghosh uh, just that uh, why do you think that uh, these kind of wounds develop because actually myosis occurs in lots of wounds this is one uh, you know scenario you have shown especially all neglected um, malignancies or you know wounds or chronic ulcers you you will come across masses in these patients so what do you think was the uh, reason why the patient developed masses what are uh, the previous patient causes? was of the low socio economic status was were from the low economic stat low socio economic status and uh, she was suffering from the basal cell carcinoma which uh, generally basal cell carcinoma uh, increase gradually very gradually in size and uh, she was neglected for a long period that's why ma'am i think so maggots. anyway so what i was trying to ask you what are the you know in the in the life cycle of uh, the parasite what is the predisposing factor that leads to it so Achha, that uh, is what i was trying uh, to ask uh, predisposing uh, like uh, moist condition and uh, there is uh, poor nutrition even a compromised state uh, Uh, this these are the main risk factors of the and um, i what did you like the, you just managed the myosis part what was the because uh, i believe your basal cell carcinoma was quite extensive it was invading the nasolacrimal duct what mm. was 
her vision like because basal cell ca carcinomas mostly a locally invasive tumor mm -hmm. so you can go for uh, you know wide excision and you still can mm -hmm. you don't require excentration for these kind of tumors until unless of course they have gone to a very advanced stage so what was the situation of the orbit had it invaded the orbit what was you did not clarify on the examination no, it involved the orbit and um, um, it has also invaded the um, um, temporofrontal area and nasal cavity. So here we only managed by the um, giving the um, uh, medical management and we have removed the maggots. And um, for the basal cell carcinoma, as we have not the department of radiotherapy and uh, surgical management, that's why we think maybe the excentration may be needed for this patient because it has been, uh, it had been uh, spread to, to all the uh, yeah, um, of course the primary condition here is something else and so do these maggots eat on the living tissue or the dead tissue? Ma one second please. I do the maggots eat on the living tissue or they eat on the dead tissues? Orbitomyces develop in. How do they get the nutrition? Oh, uh, the generally, uh, generally orbital mysis, uh, in case of the orbital, um, in case of the maggots, uh, generally they uh, fe um, develop in the necrotic tissue but uh, in uh, this is the exception there's a chrysomia basiana chrysomia basiana can also develop in the living tissue and uh, generally they made the tissue the necrosis of the oh. yeah. so, so the bryden meaning is an important part and but and uh, also yeah sorry you were saying just something just asking you the, since the patient has developed this and if you go on treating so is there a chance again he, she can he or she can get that uh, is the there a orbital chance of Again, the things to be occurring in that, meiosis to be occurring in that case, in your case. Uh, maybe, may in so what, anything you have to tell the patient or any precautions you have to take? I have to tell the, maintain the hygiene properly uh, next time and um, that's all, maintain the hygiene. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am.